my next destination whilst in Vienna is an included Viking excursion to Schönbrunn Palace, one of Europe's most beautiful Baroque complexes and something you must experience if you ever come to Austria. It's been in the possession of the Habsburg dynasty who've ruled much of Europe since 1569. It is a magnificent palace that served as the monarchy's fabulous summer residence, built to rival the sprawling Le Chateau de Versailles. In 1569, the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian II built a hunting lodge on these grounds. And he called it Chambron, which means beautiful spring. It was probably the spring water that was attracting the game that he was seeing when he was coming. It wasn't until 1696 that they started building this amazing palace and gardens. And it took, well, the female leader of the Hasberg family, the only female, Maria Theresa, to finish the project. In 1775, she added the grand neoclassical Gloriette Colonnade so she could have a sweeping city view. Today, due to its historical significance, its unique layout and magnificent furnishings, the palace is a UNESCO World Heritage listed site. Schönbrunn Palace has a total of 1,441 rooms, 45 of which can be visited. What's happened within the walls of the palace is simply incredible. Some of the most eminent citizens of the planet, such as the Emperor Franz Joseph, lived here. He was born in Schönbrunn Palace in 1830. The monarch spent the last years of his life here in their entirety. The stories within these walls are fascinating. So much history. You know, Mozart as a six-year-old prodigy performed music in here. Marie Theresa, Napoleon Bonaparte held secret conferences. And Emperor Charles I renounced his control over government, effectively ending a 750-year-old dynasty all within these walls. As you'd expect, Schönbrunn Palace Gardens is open to the public seven days a week, right throughout the year, free of charge. And there's so much to see, so many beautiful statues, there's monuments, there's amazing water features, there's some spectacular pavilions, one that you will just fall in love with, the Gloriette, and also an orangery. But get a load of this, there's also a maze, an incredible labyrinth, it's so much fun. There's a zoo, the palm house, and a desert house, and they're all stunning, and would have been so exotic to Europeans who would never have seen anything like these in their life at the time. 